drama queen, a pretty apt nickname for Eva Kolasku. He's got a very negative attitude. Signs of entitlement, you can see it here, insisting on Olaf opening up the ropes for her. And I'm sure she believes that she's entitled to be the next GWF Women's Champion. situation here for Mila Schmidt because she's not just facing Kolaski when you're the women's champion you've got a permanent target on your back and the ring of course surrounded by many other women who'd also like to have what she has that championship belt Four months now into the title reign of Mila Schmidt. She's in that time got singles victories over Kara, over the previous champion Jesse J, and hoped last month to have a third consecutive successful title defense against Kalaski, but of course it wasn't to be. Double count out. So plenty of unfinished business between these two. Referee showing the championship gold to champion and to the challenger. That's what is up for grabs here in this lumberjack match. Both of these women have had a month to think about their previous encounter, to consider what they will try and do differently this time, to give themselves the edge. Very little to separate them last time. Let's see how we go. Well, Kolaski firing off the first salvo. Schmidt quickly responding in kind. Double strike now from Kolaski. Again, Schmidt mirroring that. Kolaski though, now taking the upper hand, sends Schmidt into the corner. Slap across the face, disrespecting the champion is either Kolaski. Schmidt's got a in the corner herself now. Schmidt running in with an uppercut. A big shoulder thrust as well. I'm sure both of these women very, very conscious of keeping it in the ring. There's a, a judo style takedown from Schmidt. Gonna go to the ropes and a drop kick right to the face of the challenger. Goes to the ropes once more, drops the leg. So Schmidt's gonna hook the left leg of Kolaski, who somewhat unconvincingly got that left shoulder up. But get it up, she did. Schmidt going to the ropes again. And this time Kolaski moved out the way. And now Schmidt is out there in no man's land. Problems here for the women's champion. Finally it's being assaulted before she's thrown back in. Now here comes the cover. Kolaski was hoping to steal a victory there. And that is a, an example of just how dangerous it can be for either of these women if they end up outside the ring. Luckily not too much damage done, but a warning shot. I'm sure as Kolaski choking Schmidt in the corner. Remember, despite the presence of the Lumberjacks, still pinfall or submission. If Kolaski wants to win the title here, those are the only two ways. Can't win by disqualification or any other means. 
Lasky bringing Schmidt back into the middle of the ring, screaming it out as a split-legged drop. Kalaski going to win it off of that. She could do, but left shoulder comes up from Schmidt. Kalaski just staring daggers there at the referee for daring to counter two, not three. There's a distraction and a shot to the throat from Schmidt. A pull of the hair from Kalaski. That's obviously not within the rules. Kolaski trying to say that Schmidt's been breaking the rules as well. I haven't seen any evidence of that, but it's up to the referee to decide. And now Kolaski on the apron. Bad place to be, potentially. And now she goes, and hang on. Could be Kolaski's turn to have an unwanted encounter with the Lumberjacks, but no, she gets straight back in. Schmidt. Found no one at home, charging to the ropes. The mistake from the champion is double knees from the challenger. Gets another two count. She'll try again straight away. Another two count for Kowalski. Kowalski just screaming in the face here of Mila Schmidt. Sounds like almost unanimous support in here in Festal Kreuzberg tonight for the reigning women's champion. Despite the lack of support, Kalaski's been very impressive. Another one of the real conveyor belt of young Hungarian talent that's come through in the past little while. It's an inside cradle. Two count only, but that kick did some damage for Kalaski. Schmidt headed out again against her will. And here come the Lumberjacks again. SCJ among them. They're firing off shots at the champion. Their job technically is to just get the champion or the challenger back into the ring, not to take some cheap shots, but apparently some of the Lumberjacks didn't get the memo. Schmidt's got the legs here though. The clothesline from Schmidt. Now Schmidt looking for a belly-to-belly -belly suplex and nails it. Schmidt looking for another one. Kalaski's in big trouble. Well, she's rolled out of the ring. I think she maybe forgot what awaits her on the outside. She's starting a fight. I don't think she can win here. Well, now hang on. This is unraveling. The Lumberjack's not supposed to be inside the ring, but here they come. Now, yeah, referees had to call it off. The referees had to call it off. Once again, we've settled nothing. It is chaos at Chaos City. Schmidt, still the women's champion. No contest there. And Mila Schmidt, as a result, still the champion. But I think that still leaves things unsettled. Kolaski will still feel that she is owed a shot. Mila Schmidt. With that championship over her shoulder, she lives to fight another day. The title still hers tonight at Chaos City 7. 